welcome to java from now i am going to uh, show you how to install tbn12 bookworm on vmware workstation 17 so make sure that you have updated the vmware workstation uh, so this is the updated version of vmware workstation 17 17.5 is the latest version as of now so now i am going to create one new virtual machine Browse the installer disk image file db installer to open. You can see that dbn 12.x is uh, detected, which means that uh, this operating system uh, will not have any problem during the installation. So, all the tools will be provided by VMware okay, automatically. So, browse the destination directory where virtual machine is getting stored next uh, provide the virtual hard disk size 40 GB I am allocating store it as single file Let's customize hardware I am allocating 8 GB RAM now and CPU cores, 4 CPU cores. Okay, rest of the settings will be remain as it is. So, DBN 12 installer is started. So, boot menu. So, I am choosing graphical install. So, English will be the default language. Select your location. So, provide the host name. So provide the root password. provide the login username and password for the login username okay use entire disk Continue, select the virtual hard drive, all in one partition. Next, finish partitioning, partitioning and write changes to disk. Write changes to disk, yes. So, I am not going to scan any installation media, so I am giving no. So, if you want uh, network environments, uh, select yes. Okay, so I am selecting network mirror. So choose any nearest location or fastest location, okay. Okay, so software selection, selection, I am selecting Genome Desktop with the SSH server. So here, uh, all the necessary tools uh, like uh, VMware tools uh, will be uh, installed automatically. Okay, see here. Open VM tools, open VM tools, desktops, everything will be installed automatically. No need any manual installation. Okay. Okay, installation completed. I have restarted the DBN 12 operating system.
so let me log in after installation so you can see that uh, screen size is adjusted automatically next make sure that uh, internet connection is available okay now uh, go to virtual machine settings options okay go to guest isolation check whether drag and drop and copy paste are enabled yes it's enabled by default okay so now what i'm going to do i'm going to open the terminal and run some commands so after running that command i'm going to copy paste the terminal output to check whether shared clipboard that is copy paste uh, uh, feature is working or not so, okay i copied the output paste in windows host machine yes i can able to copy paste yes from host machine also i can able to copy paste so shared clipboard feature is working fine okay now let me check the drag and drop yes so drag and drop also i can able to transfer the file so drag and drop also is working fine for me okay now what i am going to do i am going to uh, enable the shared folder okay so for that reason i shut down the mission uh, go to settings once again options uh, shared folder always enabled add so add the uh, windows host machine folder so i am going to mount one windows host machine directory to dbn 12 virtual machine so this is the name of the shared folder so enable this shared okay so start the virtual machine so after starting run this command vmware iphone egfs client you can see that uh, shared folder is mounted so but we need to access the content of the shared folder for that reason i am uh, logging as a root user in the terminal and i am going to edit the file slash etc slash fs tab okay now uh, i am going to add one line to the fs tab file okay now add this line uh, vm hgfs hyphen fuse space slash mnt slash gfs space fuse space defaults comma allow underscore other okay so i have provided this command in the description of this video okay add this line next uh, create one directory under under slash mnt okay so gfs is the name of the directory now mount iphone a so this will mount all the directories so run this command system ctl daemon iphone reload that's it now open the another tab that is another terminal okay so login as a ordinary user try to access the shared folder yes i can able to access the content so dbn 12 book form installation on vmware workstation 17.5 with the vmware tools is successful